In this video tutorial, we're going to see how to create a junction table in PHP MyAdmin. And we've already seen this in the tutorial beforehand where we did it in Access, which was a lot more visual. The only problem with PHP MyAdmin, we go through the same processes, but it's just a little bit more tricky or a little bit less visual. And you have to have a lot more of a handle on the different foreign keys and relationships that you're going to have. So we're going to use our library uh, database as always and at the moment we've got eight different tables there we want to create a new table called study groups and then we want to make a many-to-many -many relationship between study groups and the members table so let's start off by making our study groups table so over to the side I'll get it on create table and the table name is study groups and again I'm using my MySQL naming convention all capital letters uh, and in this table, we're just going to have two fields. It's going to be pretty simple. One of them is going to be a primary key field. So the first primary key field is study group underscore ID. And the length is seven. It's a primary key, so we should allow PHP my admin to take care of the, uh, the incrementing of the primary key. So I'm going to check on the auto increment variable and that's slightly off our screen here so uh, but that's checked on and then the next field I'm going to put on here is just study group name and again I'm using the a particular type of MySQL naming convention here and that's fine and that's it that's all I'm going to do in that table. So I'm going to save that table, and that's executed fine. And study groups has gone in there. Right. So we've got study groups table, and we've got a members table as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a many-to-many -many relationship between those two different things. And so the whole idea is, is that a member in a library can sign up to lots of different study groups. So one member might decide, I want to join the math study group, and, another, and they also want to join the, uh, the English study group. Uh, but also study groups can have many different members attached to them and that makes sense as well because a study group isn't much fun unless uh, you've got other people in the study group along with you. So we're going to create this junction table and again I'm going to click down here to create table and the name that I'm going to put on my junction table is JNCT underscore study groups is on one side and members is on the other. So again, it's using the naming convention that's listed underneath the course. And uh, I can just create how many different columns do I need? Well, there are two ways to do junction tables. One way is with three columns and one way is with two columns. We're just going to use a three column version at the moment because it's a little bit simpler. So I'm just going to click on go there and a new table is created. So the three different columns are going to be the primary key field of the overall table and then the other two are the two foreign keys one to each of the other tables so one to study groups and one to members so in the primary key field what I'm going to write here is uh, study group members study group group member uh, underscore ID and the Length there is seven. Again, I'm going to put on auto increment, and then the next field uh, are, is a study group foreign key. That's fine, and then the next field is a member foreign key. So that's okay, and these are both. These are all numbers. So int and int and int they all have to relate to primary keys. That's that, and that's that. Okay. Uh, they're foreign keys as well, so I'm going to index them. And again, this is off the screens, but uh, over at the side here, I'm just going to go to the index column on these and just switch them to index. And that should be fine, so I'm going to click Save on that. And that table is created. So we can see a junction table very, very easily here because of the prefix, so they're quite obvious. Now. That's all well and good, but we want to make a relationship. And to make those relationships, I'm just going to go into the junction study groups underscore members, the junction table, basically. That's where everything will happen. Go into relations view. And because I've indexed the two foreign key fields, I've got a drop down menu. If you don't see these drop down menus, it means that you haven't got the fields indexed. So you have to go back to the, uh, the structure of the table and change that. 
And so the study group foreign key should relate to, and I see all the different index views available to me, so it should relate to study groups, study group underscore ID, which is the primary key of the study groups table. And on that I'm going to go on delete restrict, on update cascade, and then member underscore FK, the foreign key should relate to the primary key of the members table, which is there, members dot member underscore ID, and again on delete restrict, on update cascade, and I save that, and that query has gone through, no problem. And so those are all my relationships set up. My junction table is set up. And now all I have to do is populate it with data.